So Uranus station retrograde, what in the world does this mean? And how does it affect you? Well, I'm gonna tell you. My name is Sarah, I'm a mom and I'm an astrologist, and this is what I do. I share when things happen in the sky and try to give you practical tips. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pull out your chart. And if you don't have one, check out the freebie in my bio. I have two things there. I have a video that explains how to create a chart, and in my freebie, I tell you in written form and I have cheat sheets for the signs, planets, and houses. But once you have that information, come back to this video. Don't worry, I'll wait. Okay, you got that information? So let me teach you a little bit about Uranus. Uranus is a generational planet, which means an entire generation will have Uranus in the same sign because he moves so freaking slow. This is also true for Neptune and for Pluto. With Uranus, this is the planet that represents how we want freedom. How do we want to have our out-of-the-box thinking show up in our lives? How does, um, how do you want to be a little bit of a rebel? Okay. Now that's when it's moving forward. When it's moving backwards, any time a planet moves backwards, it's an internal slowing down. And right now we now have six planets that are moving backwards. So things might feel like they're moving very slowly as a result. People tend to feel the Uranus, I want freedom, I want to change things up kind of vibe most in the days prior to the stationing retrograde, so maybe this weekend, and the few days after, so the rest of this week. And then, of course, near the end of it. So if you felt like a compulsion to change how you feel about your body or your finances or what you feel like you need to hold on to, that might be why. For me, this is all happening in my first house. And this weekend, I spent a lot of time figuring out a new exercise routine for myself, um, a new way to look at our finances. And I sorted through a whole bunch of stuff that are really old that I just needed to get rid of. Now, this isn't going to affect everybody the same way because it's happening in the sky. So you can check out 23 degrees of Taurus and see where that is in your chart. You're gonna also wanna see if there's anything touching 23 degrees of Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius, because those might heighten the energy just a little bit more, especially if it's your sun, moon, Mercury, Venus, or Mars, or even your rising sign. For me, I don't really have anything touching it, so I'm just gonna be going with the flow. And that's pretty much what you need to do because Uranus is an expect the unexpected kind of planet. Chances are you might see a lot of it in the headlines as well, especially in regards to weather because he likes to change the weather up too. What house does it fall for you?